And with all this rain coming down this week, you might see some showers for the weekend, but Chief, how, Chief Meteorologist Howard Manges will have that forecast for this weekend. Howard, how's it looking out there? Uh, quiet right now. We still have some light rain across the area, a lot of clouds, as we mentioned, and that's essentially you know, the forecast here this week, we have a ton of clouds, a completely different forecast than where we were at uh, just, you know, you know, three, four days ago, and certainly the last two weeks, but look, clouds stretching from Texas. Now, this is a different cloud imagery. This is infrared, uh, but you see the clouds from Texas up through the mid-Mississippi River Valley, through New York and Pennsylvania, on up into Canada as well, with uh, embedded areas of more widespread rain, and we're in one of those areas right now. Again, rain is light. Um, again, and again, it looks like there's no clouds right now, but this particular satellite image looks at the temperature of the cloud tops, and they're relatively warm, so to speak, so they don't show up very well. Um, but they're out there. All you got to do is look. <laughs> it's, there's a lot of clouds here today with some, you know, scattered showers here still ongoing. A live look at the Binghamton radar. Again, even some pockets of, you know, almost drizzle or mist. Um, some steadier rain, though, a little bit over into southern Delaware County right along Route 17 and even south of 17 between the um, 1786 and New York, Pennsylvania border, town of Binghamton area some lighter rain but no problems as we've mentioned temperatures 50s to near 60 degrees here this hour it's a damp afternoon and um, again we're going to spend a lot of this week under cloudy skies so showers around here this evening no problems i don't see a single quote unquote washout type day uh, over the next five to seven it's going to feel like fall i mean it does today and the sunshine yeah right now it looks like it's going to return just in time for the weekend. Something we're watching, of course, the National Hurricane Center and certainly the folks along the uh, uh, Gulf Coast, potential tropical cyclone nine. Why is that? Because it's, it hasn't reached tropical depression yet, and it's going to. It will uh, likely do that in the next 12 hours or so. Um, this uh, mass of clouds and thunderstorms is where the circulation is. It's going to move off to the north and west and strengthen into a tropical storm over the next 24 hours most likely cross between the Yucatan and the western tip of Cuba um, Wednesday as a Category 1 and then making major hurricane status as a Category 3. I've zoomed in here, so places like Panama City, Tallahassee, over to Gainesville, um, anywhere along that in the Big Bend is where the uh, uh, target is right now for a potential Category 3 hurricane or more. I mean, we have to watch this very carefully, um, but again, by Thursday, Sustained winds right now forecast to be 115 miles an hour. Good news is high pressure returns this weekend and should keep any remnants of this system out of our area. So we'll, we'll watch that, of course, extremely carefully. A lot of clouds tonight, some periodic sprinkles, a little bit of mist, some showers even into tomorrow afternoon. That small risk of a couple of, I don't say risk, but a small chance of some showers from time to time. And then um, Tuesday night into Wednesday, another batch of some showers coming in. And even during the, time, during the day at times on Wednesday, it will remain unsettled. But I can't stress enough, I don't see a single, you know, start to finish uh, day of rain, uh, constant rain here over the next seven days. Notice, yeah, we get to back near 70 degrees there Thursday, but into the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday right now looking quite nice. I know. It